Welcome back. We have turned into some weird four-armed cyclops thing and are in some kind of gross insect hive. All in all, just another day, I guess. But we have no idea why we're here or how we got here. I guess just like with the circus and the town, we need to find out what's going on and what we need to do to be able to leave. Already been in there. Let's check on this side. Another structure. Hello from within. Must be some large fire. Can't really see that, can you? No. Not so many. Slow down. Too many in the machine will overheat. Um, some kind of furnace. The insectoids abominable furnace. Um, are they throwing? They're they're dropping cyclopean babies into the furnace. All right. I guess that's a renewable energy source. They sure need a lot of them, though. Yeah, I can see how um, that would be a bad thing. Oh. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. They are refining fuel for their mechanized parts. And they use Cyclops babies for it. Great. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. If you tried solar panels, nuclear energy, anything. This insect is hooked up to a machine, and the levers must control the furnace. Good, because I think we want to put a stop to this. That would harm even me. I can't do that. Is it just because we're too far away? I can't do that. No, I guess it's because this insect is there. Oh, we can talk to this one. Who are you? <laughs> furnace operator. Why did you ask? God drone, why are you here? I'm here to uh, inspect the furnace. It's been suitably repaired, but if Her Majesty needs confirmation, then go ahead and get on with it. Just stay out of the way. We're very busy. What is your function? To regulate the flow of air to the furnace. What is the purpose of this furnace? Are you testing my knowledge? Very well. This is the main power supply of the hive. It was built by Gramna himself. It maintains the temperature of the queen's chambers and also is used to smelt the raw ember into a highly concentrated power source. Um, your ember seems to be kids, but sure. Where does the ember come from? We found deposits of it within the mountain while we were tunneling our way up to the surface. When Gramna joined our cause, he recognized it as a possible power source for cybernetics, if reduced to its purest form. Well, I guess it's something different. How do you regulate the temperature? It's very complicated. You need to be at least the level of operator to understand it. And you are still merely a drone guard. How do I become an operator? Ambitious drone. You are far too young to even be considered for it. I've served the queen for generations. With age comes respect and station. What about those bellows over there? The assigned drones pump the bellows for regulating the flow of air into the furnace. Through that, we control the flames that are used to smelt the ember. Are those Cyclopean children being thrown in? Don't be alarmed. According to Gramna, they won't pollute the ember. Where do they come from? And why burn them? Does this investigation require me to explain everything to you, drone? Uh, 
Okay, so I guess the children aren't even really a fuel source. They're just using this to dispose of them after whatever it is the queen does. Yeah, I think we do need to put a stop to that. Wait, are we saving children again? Seems to be a theme. You know, I'm also kind of reminded of uh, the one guy in chapter one in the asylum who was talking about bugs trying to take over the world. wonder if that was a hint for this uh, particular part of the game. Some foreshadowing. We've had foreshadowing every time thus far. There was no stained glass window in the last part of the asylum to show this part, though. Let's see what else we can look at. Hmm. This pipe has been fixed recently, though not too well. Must be the repair he was talking about. It hasn't been fixed too well. Maybe we can unfix it. Not with our bare hands, though. The insects are pumping a bellows to control the furnace. The bellows. They are used to fan the flames of the infernal machine. The insects are... Okay, I don't think I can talk to them. Bugs flying up that tube. Where does it lead? It leads over there, I guess. Which I think is the Queen's Chambers. Alright. Interesting. Let's keep heading down. Wait, there's something on the left there too. Look at this. I don't know what this is up there. Why it's glowing. What is over here? A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. Um, sure. I guess that's your expert opinion. A great... There is a triangular slot here. A great machine... But it doesn't look like there's anything we can do with it right now. And this is a dead end. So let's continue down this side then. A large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. And um, I'm assuming a we large can... Open that? Wait, why, why do we talk to this one? Password. Grap. Entry denied. Oh, I guess we need a password to open that and we don't know it. I guess that means this is not Graven's hut. Because we do know the password for that. A large hut. Look. A small hut. A defense mechanism for Graven's pod. Oh, so this is grabbing spot. Okay, so this one we should be able to open. Password. Renaseer. Enter. Alright. Bit cramped, but not too bad, I guess. Especially considering it's in an insect hive. The heater. It's alive. Um, okay. A sledgehammer should come in handy. Probably. Graven's tools. Graven's tools. Alright, just assorted tools, no further description. A sledgehammer should come in handy. And we got the claw earlier. An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. What's this? Wonder if Graven has any good crystals. Um, I guess these are the crystals? 
And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in the troubled remote community of Warrendale, authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Gromna finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Gromna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. Wait. We've heard the name Gromna before. Some of the insects were mentioning him as if he was actually working for them, or with them. Which doesn't seem to square with him coming here to stop the insects. Also, Graven seems to be helping them, not stopping them. And he's working for Gromna, so... Something fishy's going on here. And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the... Oh. I guess they are all the same. Just to make sure. And yeah, alright. I guess you just watch everything when clicking on any one of them. Or it's just one thing to click on. I don't know how this thing works. It's some kind of weird insect alien television, so... Uh, nothing else here, I don't think. I kind of want to talk to Gravin about this. If he has anything to say about it. Look, I'm too busy to talk now. The couriers are delivering embers from the furnace at a fantastic rate. I'll meet you later at my pod when they shut the furnace down. If they shut the furnace down. No, oh, I guess we can't talk to him because he's too busy. Well, that gives us another reason to want to shut the furnace down, I guess. Hmm, looks like there's a danger of overheating this thing. We might be able to use that. But first, this repair. We couldn't do anything with it before, but now we have a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer could come in handy. And since the insects are blind, it's not like they can tell that we're doing this. Would it now? Let's give that a try. With that bug gone, I can reach the controls. I'll shut down this abominable furnace. Alright. It overheated him and killed the operator. I guess that worked. They're just working. Hmm. This well, we broke it already. I guess it's helpful that we had forearms. 
guess what he was doing was not too important, considering they're still just using the furnace. The mechanized arm survived the fire. Hmm. I wonder if it can be used against the beasts. The furnace operator's mechanical limb. Alright, don't know if we'll, what we'll need that for. Hmm. This is more complex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated. Okay. Um, I guess there's an insect that actually is part of their control panel? That is weird. Oh. Looks like we can make it extend its wings. And doing so seems to be forming symbols over here. Um, then we have a button. Oh, that just resets this insect, I guess. Bunch of lights. Bunch of symbols over here, which seem to resemble the ones over here. And we can switch this lever around to point at any of those symbols. Oh, and we can change the color between red, green, and blue, which also changes the symbol. And I don't know what this does, but not much. Um, let's see. Well, it looks like this is actually a matching symbol. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Now what? Is that? Yes. Okay. So I think we need to create the symbols we see here. And then set the slider or lever or whatever at the correct spot and click the button for the wing in question. And this seems to activate them, turning one of these lights off. Hopefully doing that will eventually um, shut the, the furnace down. Let's see, I think I actually saw this symbol in one of the other colors. Yeah, there we go. That's in green. Alright. Well, this doesn't look like it would be too hard. Um, let's see what else we can do, though. Alright. This is very similar to that one, but it has an element too many, so we probably need to take one of the wings away. There we go. So, let's try that. Yep, that worked. This looks... Oh, that's all of them. That looks like that one. Yep, that's essentially just what we're doing here. We're going to be messing with this. Oh, that's actually already that one. That's kind of convenient. Until you get all the symbols. I wonder if... Yeah, that's what I thought. It looked like that's something you could make with that triangle. That's not quite right. Let's see if it's good enough. It is not. Oh wait, that's that one. I'm blind, apparently. Um, anything else with the green symbols on that side? Doesn't look like it. Nor is there anything else with these, I think. How about blue? Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. Well, that might be that one. Yep. Ooh, and that's this one. Again, it's not too hard. 
just go through all the options until you see shapes that you recognize. I guess that's it. Let's see what we can do with the other wing. That is somewhat similar to that, but it has... Uh, wait, is that that one? It is. And that one. Only two more, which I'm assuming... Oh, that's the wrong button. Are gonna be the red color on this wing? Yes. So that's that one. And we actually don't want that and do want that. There. No more genocide today, monsters. No more embers will be delivered now. I'm certain I'll find Graven resting in his pod. All right. We've stopped them killing more of the Cyclops children. And Graven should be off duty now, which he is, so that's good. Let's see if he is indeed in his hut. There you are. I was beginning to get worried. I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace. Especially since your memory is gone. No, I don't remember much of anything. I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me. Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. Okay, I guess we are some kind of hero? I guess it makes sense if they made a comic book out of us. War of the One. Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> the War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the insectoids, neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers, creators of all and of nothing, watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. Wait, but if I fought in it and I'm still alive... Then how come other people don't remember? Unless I was dead and was somehow brought back? I don't know. That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace! Isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven! Cyclopean children! What? But how can this be? Gromna would never allow such a thing to happen. Yeah, about that. What exactly is Gromna doing here? Gromna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Mission? What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, Tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. Okay, and meanwhile they're burning children, so... Some peace treaty. I tell you it's true, Graven. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. 
Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. It's too bad that we had to shut the furnace down to be able to talk to him, because otherwise we could have just taken him into the furnace room, and he would have been able to see it for himself. Grubbin, Chick-Tock requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally, Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool Chick-Tock if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graben, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Alright, hopefully that'll fool them. Take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. Yeah, we kind of already tried that and already asked you about it, so... Can't really see where the exit is when you're in there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that will work and we can get an upgrade. Well, I guess we can ask him about cybernetics as well. Who designed these robotics? Where is he? He is within the Queen's chambers. Since it is the Eve of Retribution, there is much preparation required. His plan must be executed perfectly. Um, that doesn't sound good. Eve of Retribution? Are your memory pathways in need of service? The Eve of Retribution is known by us all. As of tomorrow, we will return to our rightful position as the dominating race of the planet. Under the guise of peace, we shall collect a debt that has been unpaid for decades. Um, it sounds to me like Gromna has defected. There's no plan for peace here at all. What plan do you speak of? Your memory banks must be fluctuating. Gromna has seen the error of his kind's ways and has come to aid us in our desire for revenge. With his gift of cybernetics, we shall once again rule the surface. Uh, but he can't fix the fact that you're blind. Sounds great. How will this gift aid us? Are we not mighty enough to conquer the Cyclops without them? Without the speed of cybernetics? We would be vulnerable to the nuclear fire which the enemy controls, incinerated before we even reach the city. But with the aid of cybernetics, we will be swarming within the walls of the capital before their hands can even reach the launch button. The dawn will bring the age of the insectoid. It is inevitable. Well, those are some cybernetics, if they can make you that fast. Fast enough to outrun a nuclear missile. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, hold while I search my databanks for confirmation. My records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Lin Scanner for positive age identification. Yep, so we need to prove our age to him, and, you know, since we're not actually a bug at all, that's kind of a problem, I guess. Looks like an operating table. At least the weird baby thing is gone. wonder if that was a baby Cyclops, or... No, I think it had two eyes. Hmm. Anyway, we need to prove, um, our age. 
And the uh, furnace operator talked about how old he was and how long he served the queen, so his um, severed limb might do the trick. The furnace operator's mechanical limb. If I can remember where to use it. I can't do that. There, okay. Sure. Age requirements verified. Upgrade authorized. Step forward to have ID harness upgraded. Prepare for upgrade treatment. Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNAV treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was still a sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNAV almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. <sighs> well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. Dizzy. Can't concentrate. <sighs> Hmm, interesting. Some of that plays on stuff we've already heard in other flashbacks and on the radio. But if Dr. Morgan is working on a cure for this DNA V disease, then why is he also working on an asylum? Are the experiments he's doing on the... on the people there part of his research for a cure? I do not understand. Some kind of scanning unit. Guess that was the limb scanner. It's kind of hard to spot, honestly, over here. I guess we got our upgrade. Nothing else we can talk to him about. So, we can now go into the Queen's Chambers. Hopefully we can find some evidence there that we can use to convince Graven of what Gromna is doing. But we'll have to do so in the next video.